Welcome to Dead Good Book Reviews, I'm Judith and today I'm bringing you the stay at home booktube tag. Yes, I'm not in my normal filming place which is right there. I thought since this was a tag it was a bit more chilled out I would put myself in my reading chair and also display my rainbow bunting because it's just, it's that kind of a week. I need rainbow bunting so if the framing's a bit weird in this, live with it. I was tagged in this by Book Witch Reviews so if you haven't already checked out their channel then go into the description find that link, watch that video, it's excellent, it's fun, go and do that. And there are nine prompts all to do with staying at home, so I'm gonna work my way through them. I have a pile of books on the floor, I have my laptop with the prompts, I'm ready to go. First prompt is Laying in Bed, a book you can read in a day. And this one was a bit difficult for me because I read almost everything I read, I read in a day. I would say almost everything I could read in a day, maybe is a better description, but I thought I would pick the book that I've probably reread the most and always can bash out in a couple of hours when I feel like reading it. And that book is Cinder by Maurice L. Mayer. This is the first book in the Lena Chronicles. I've talked about this fairly recently. I think it was in a wrap up a couple of months ago. I just think this is a really easy, quick book to read. Even if you're not used to reading a book in a day, you could certainly do it with Cinder. It's not too long, it's good fun, it's nice, it's friendly, it's the start of a series, which I feel is always a good thing about a book in a day, is you're like, right, I'm a quarter of the way through a quartet now, ready to go. I don't know whether to go into detail about the books. I think maybe only the ones that people won't know which is none of them, because all of these are massively basic. Yeah, Cyborg, love it. The next prompt is Snacking, uh, which I've been doing a fair amount of, and this is a guilty pleasure book. Now, I don't think you should feel guilty about snacking. I think food should be food. Nor do I think you should be guilty about what you read. I don't actually read anything that I think I would be ashamed to tell other people that I read. I don't think I want to share what fan fiction I read with you, but I'm not guilty about it. So I thought instead I would talk about one of the books that I read that isn't in my typical genre, so most of you know I read basically just sci-fi and fantasy. I branch out into YA but it's still sci-fi and fantasy. I don't really read anything else. I'm very very boring. But the one thing that I will also read is Alice Oseman's Heartstopper. This is a graphic novel series based on her webcomic of the same name so you can read all of this for free if you want to. If I remember I will link that below. But I own the first two books in this series. One of them is always on loan, one or the other, uh, and I have book one is still at home. If you haven't encountered this, it's a really lovely, slow burn, very realistic gay romance and it's beautiful art. It's just cozy and comforting and wonderful. Basically the, I'd say the only way a contemporary I read, it's not entirely true, I've read some way contemporary, some of which I've really enjoyed, but this is the one that I'm consistently aware that I will really really like it, to the point where I pay Alice Oseman money so I can find out what happens sooner. The next prompt is Netflix, which is a book series you would like to start. I pondered this for a bit and I didn't know if this one would count or not, but it's the only start of a series that I have on my TBR at the moment. I thought I'd go for Robin Hobbs Live Ships Trilogy. This is book one, Ship of Magic. I have this one and I think I have book three physically because I picked them up at a charity shop. More on that later. This is a series I've been wanting to start. I've talked about this in a recent vlog but some people got not cross with me, suggested kindly that I read this before I go on with the Rain Wilds and I'm probably going to listen to them. I think I'm actually going to pick this up in audiobook but by the time quarantine is over I fully expect to have finished this series. The next prompt is Animal Crossing which is a book that you picked up because of the hype. I would really love to be able to play Animal Crossing but we sold our Switch and I do kind of regret it but at the same time I'm quite glad we don't have it because I think I would be spending all of my time, decisions were made. But yeah, a book that I bought because of the hype now. I don't typically fall for hype, do I? I mean, I suppose you could say, you know, Dark Dawn or or maybe, maybe Dark Dawn or... Well, there's always uh, Dark Dawn. <sighs> Something about the exclusive editions for this book caught me and I spent far too much money on the same book that I didn't even like that much. Oh, the next prompt is productivity. I don't know how much of that any of us have had. This is a book that you have learned from and I think this is probably going to be quite obvious. I think this is probably the only non-fiction book I've kept on my shelf. This is a recent read or a recent reread. This is Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doughty. This is her memoir, her perspective of her kind of early years getting involved in and then becoming a part of etc etc. The funeral industry in America and it's just wonderful, it's so well written, it makes me cry, it makes me laugh. The thing I learned from it though I think is a really powerful attitude shift towards death and it's an interesting challenge to give yourself is to think okay what, what are my feelings on this because I think certainly I just never thought about it, it wasn't that I actively avoided it, 
I just never thought about it and this is really a really good mental challenge. I would really recommend picking this up especially if this is the kind of thing that makes you anxious, maybe not on the moment, but it's a really really profound look at something we're a bit scared to talk about. The next one is deep clean which I kind of did, I kind of deep cleaned this room, uh, it's already messy again a week later, what are you gonna do? This is the book that's been on your TBR for the longest. Now I'm quite good at reading down my TBR, my TBR hasn't been over 50 in a few months I would say. I tend to put my oldest books on my TBR first so I work to them. Now the four books that have been on my TBR the longest were books that I picked up in a charity shop when I last visited my parents maybe? Or the last time I stayed at my parents. Two of them are the Life Chips books that I mentioned earlier and then I also have two random Brandon Sanderson books that I picked up as well. I have The Alloy of Law which is a Mistborn a kind of standalone -y novel I think. I need to check, this is the thing, this is partly why these haven't been read because I haven't checked where I need to read other things first. And then I also have Firefight which is the second book in the Reckoners trilogy I think? But I cannot find the first one physically without spending huge amounts of money for a paperback so I think I'm going to have to get the other ones on Kindle for those. These have been on my TBR the longest but they will be coming off it the soonest as well so make of that what you will. The next prompt is FaceTime. This is a book you were gifted. I'm lucky enough to be gifted quite a few books. There are a few different emotional avenues I could have gone down but I thought no I'll just pick up the nearest book to me that was gifted and that was chosen because it's currently on my TBR so it was sat on my desk. This is by Kirsten White. This is the second book in the Slayer series. I'm not actually sure how long it's going to be and this was gifted to me by the lovely Moon. If you haven't encountered Moon she is one of the most wonderful generous people in the whole universe. She was kind enough to send me this. Prompt 8 is Take Care, Self Care. Uh, it didn't have a bookish prompt and the video I watched it was just talking about what you're doing for self care so what I'm doing is throwing myself 10 minute dance parties where I basically put on the cheesiest loudest music on my Spotify and I dance around the room for 10 minutes and that that's what I've been doing. It makes for quite good fun. There's a clip of it in my vlog that will have gone up yesterday but if you want to enjoy the full 10 minutes uh, then maybe ask because I, I don't think I can face watching myself in real time for 10 minutes. And the last prompt is new releases. I, I don't know if this was just for book witch reviews um, but it, it was interesting. I am really really bad at keeping up with new releases partly because I don't get excited about anything because I'm just miserable. So I thought I would subvert this in my uh, dead good way and instead talk about a new release I'm really not looking forward to reading but I'm probably going to read anyway and that's The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Songbirds and Snakes? Whatever the Hunger Games prequel is called. We're getting bits of it from various places uh, and extracts and all of this excitement and the what I believe to be profoundly ugly cover and I don't want to read it. Nothing about me wants to read this and I was a Hunger Games Man. and I reread them within the last year so I, I it's not that I don't like the Hunger Games I just I don't want to know about President Snow's backstory don't in any way want to know it could be the most wonderful subversive oh you thought we were gonna rectify his actions but actually we're just going deeper into how terrible he is and actually he's not really the main character of this book which case may be okay but then why market it this way I don't need this and I think I'm gonna have to read it because, and it sounds really shallow, but I think it will make good content. So I haven't actually ordered a copy yet. I'm gonna see if I can get it from the library and we'll see how that goes. That is the end of this tag. If you would like to do it, consider yourself tagged. If you, like me, are running out of video ideas this close to week, what, nearly week six of quarantine, then feel free, consider yourself tagged. You are tagged and your mum is tagged too. Oh, imagine, if you live with your mum, do a video with your mum. I will watch it. If you don't want to do it, then maybe just let me know what your answers to some of the prompts would be, which prompts you found most interesting in the comments below, or if there are any other fun tags that you have done if you are a booktuber or that you have seen other people do, because I'm really suffering from, I am not, I have nothing to talk about. So <laughs> I'm looking for some interesting topics. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can also subscribe. It makes me feel loved and appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Let me know what the things what the things are.